Hey guys, this is Shainu. Today I'll be showing you how we can convert this wide format into a long format. So what ends up happening is you will have three columns that's going to have name, month, and the values that are associated with it. We are going to achieve this by using the Power Query in your Microsoft Excel. This demonstration is done in a MacBook, so the options that you're going to see may differ in your Windows machine. Just wanted to call that out. So this wide format file is saved as a .csv and I'm going to go ahead and close it out and go to my long format workbook that I created to transform that wide format data. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to data. So I already have data highlighted here and then you want to go to get data and you will get all these options that are available to bring the data over from. You want to choose text slash CSV as the option and then select browse and find the file that you want to transform. So I'm going to go ahead and select wide format .csv and then select get data. All of these files are going to be in my website, which is going to be referenced in the description below. So you don't have to necessarily recreate this file uh, if you want to test this out prior to applying this into your main file that you're trying to transform. And then we're going to go ahead and select the next option. And here you can see that the first row, even though it was a header or it should have been treated as a header, it's not being treated as such, but don't worry, there's a setting that you can uh, configure in your Power Query that is going to give you the option to change that. So what we're going to go ahead and do is make sure all this is correct and in the data type detection very likely you may be working with a very big file and may have more than 200 rows so you want to select based on the entire data set instead and then select the option to transform data and here you want to go and select use first row as header and you can see how that column one, two, three, four, and five changed to the first uh, row, which is exactly what we needed to have. And now what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the column that we do not want to pivot and then right click on this and just say unpivot other columns. And when you do that, that two rows ended up being eight rows. And you're just going to simply select the option to close and load and voila, you're done. So if you're in a situation where you want to change the names and stuff like that you could simply do that here or you could have done it in power query as well so hopefully you found this video helpful if you have make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye